What's up, everybody? Back with another Fair Shake reaction. This time, we're going to be checking out the first half of the repackage of uh, Stray Kids' album In Life. Instead of Go Live or Go Live, we got In Life. So, um, yeah. I'm going to check out the first eight tracks since that's the new material. Already checked out Backdoor. I think it's pretty darn cool. So, we're going to see what the rest of the repackages are having to offer. Alrighty. So, let's get into it. Starting off with the tortoise and the hare. Hmm. So this is the same as the intro, but maybe the lyrics are different. Yeah, this is definitely different. Okay. I still think this beat is kind of cool. Still not sold on the song. But now it's just like. <laughs> With the repetition that wasn't in the original version, it's interesting. I feel like this part was in the original. I have I don't listen to it that much. It's not on to my playlist. Hey. Ah, just that heavy bass with the along with that wailing synth. Well, at least they had fun with it. Still not sold on it though, but back door is pretty cool. Hey, I just like that. That funky bass. And then this drop is really cool too. This pre-chorus where they just take it all. Hey. Ah, oh, that bass is delicious. Nice, thick, and meaty. <laughs> Wow, 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 yeah. 
That's cool how they like, it sounded like they went ahead and played the bell and then reversed it into the transition. Ah, then this ending, building it with that higher synth and the way they took that sound effect that went beautiful. This is a ride. Each little section is nice and distinct, but they still all flow together really nicely. It's, it's, you wanna come in? Yeah, that's a, it's a it's a solid title track for this repackage. But now for Be Me. Seems to be a, one of the tracks that ride that line of hip hop and pop. <laughs> that definitely surprised me. <laughs> This drop isn't satisfying because this that bass line isn't as thick and present like the other one was. So it doesn't feel like as heavy as it when it hits. But this rapping on this track is pretty nice. Like even when it comes to here to try and like more make it more melodic, you add even more melodic elements and still try to make it drift away, just to feel as effective because even in the verses it's not too much going on, which still has it kind of empty. It's very like they try to make it atmospheric, but it's not like a very like it's not a heavy atmosphere at all all right put it interesting way to outro this <laughs> Not sold on that one either. But here's any. Alright. Hmm. I'm getting very thrown off with the like the, uh, it's going in the direction I didn't even think it was going to from the beginning like the way like people who have been watching me for a while know I have an issue with the way a lot of people use autotune. This, I think they're using it just fine. Like it adds just the right amount of color to it and it's not just distracting. Then they just decide to go halftime, okay. In the most unorthodox way <laughs> you can expect.
Alright. Trading on the bridge. Hmm. Levy decided to switch out kicks for that bridge. Hmm. That was pretty cool. I liked that one. That was like very interesting to listen to all the way through. Now for X, the last one that has all of all of them on it. Hmm. It sounds like we got like a pitched down group clap. Not sure if I'm a fan of it because it just sounds like a weird crunch. Ooh. Like that vocal line though. See, now they're going between the the pitch down clap and the it, yeah, that's regular low. Hi. Like, there it sounds fine. But I still probably would have opted for the regular pitch group clap during the verses. But that's my... That's my opinion. Oh! They do have it alternating here. Mm, listen to that. The the little kind of kind of a uh, chime like since they had in the lead up to the chorus. Anticlimactic, <laughs> but it was cool to have like the background vocal, the the rise, and then it kind of went back down. <sighs> it was so close to making me just be like, "Yes, I love, I like it." I'm on the fence on that one, but here's we go. Definitely seems to way more hip hop. Alright. Harmonizing on him. See, on this part, would prefer no auto tune there. It's not helping right now. Alright. Going in, though. I knew it, they've come back to the third. Mm. 
Both of them had like small moments where it's just like a little off rhythmically it seems. But right now, on it. We go. Cool how that they add in like the horn little. Despite my qualms, like with the auto tune on this, I would. I would still just get over it because they were their flows were still on point. Like on that one, it was cool. It just would have been cool to not have auto tune on the verses. But here's wow. I like the percussion. That's cool. It's like a shaker. The chop in there. And the pad. It sounds like kind of like the side chaining now. Or gated. Mm. I like how they did, like, they had it uh, filtered to, like, create that difference in texture. But I still would have liked to hear it fuller. Uh. This little break down here. Hmm. Interesting hit. Timing. Mm. I like how they added that extra synth here. That low. Wow, I was up there. Now for my universe. Seems like we got a new ballad on here. me really engaged in this chorus like
With a little vocal chops in the back. Alright, so the first thing that pe like caught my ear here in this chorus is that little and then the melody changes in the vocals. It just subverts. Mm. Mm. All right, show off now. So, being let, let me like like let me be very frank. I almost wasn't gonna end up liking this one, but until that chorus hit, I was like, "Oh, oh, okay, ah, I wasn't expecting that." That makes me want to listen to this more. Because <laughs> at first I was just like, "Oh, this is just okay." But then that chorus hit, and I was like, oh, so that's going to be added to my playlist. Um, now, the rest of these pro this I mean, the rest of this project, I've already heard because I've reacted to um, the original, as mentioned at the beginning. Um, but because um, I'm just, you know, looking forward to, to hearing uh, some of these again, we're, we're going to just... Uh, we're just gonna get hyped for a hot second because the very first two tracks here, um, God's Menu and Easy, are like two of like my f absolute favorites from it. So we're just gonna like listen to like the the, the beginning just so I can get hyped real quick. So don't mind me. Get hyped with me real quick, cause this intro is just it just comes in nice and hard. But yeah, 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 yeah. That it just comes, it just comes in hard. It just yeah. Then the other one that does the same thing. It just makes me. It's the stink face. Easy. Cause I was like, let me let. Cause I heard that. Hey, okay, okay. Then, <laughs> like this is the joke I would love to see live. I would get so wild. <clears throat> it's just like. Ooh, ooh. It just comes in so hard. Both of those songs come in so hard. I would be so hyped if I was able to see that jump live. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright, so thanks for allowing me that. Um, you know, I know you didn't really get permission, but thanks anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the the new tracks on here pretty, got, got some pretty nice ones in there. It was cool to see them do finally like a full song to the... Um, the go live you know intro kind of thing they had it was like they had like a verse and like a kind of a chorus kind of thing going on um so they like finally extended it to a full full length song um still didn't end up liking the end product but they did do some has they did have some interesting choices and in what they did in the new parts um but just wasn't enough to make me say yeah but I do re still really love that beat. The beat is dope. Um, song, 
not so much. Um, but yeah, out of the new tracks, my favorite's probably gotta be Wow. Like that, that was, that was like straight up my alley. I, I was like, yo, this is, this is nice. The production, the singing, the rapping, it's just, it's just meshing really, really well on this one. Um, but yeah, um, tell me what you guys thought of the new repackage. Um, was it worth, um, you know, doing? Um, I think so. Cause you know, it, it ended up, they ended up like giving, eight whole new songs in this repackage like uh most repackages that i've seen of late have only been like a few songs so you know this this was definitely worth you know checking out and seeing if it's you know worth a repurchase you know um but yeah it, i know it was worth my time to check out um because i came out with five new songs to to jam out to um but yeah um, that's it. I hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, much love, peace, peace.